Welcome to Marathon High School. My name is Wendy McPherson. I am the principal here. I've been the principal here for about seven years. And before that, I was an assistant principal here at Marathon High School um, for four years. And then I was two years at Sugarloaf. So I come with lots of experience. Things look a little different because of COVID-19, but that hasn't stopped us because it's important to our students and it's important to our community. So let's go around the campus and take a couple of looks of some places and some great programs that we have here to offer at Marathon High School. So we're gonna start at the Media Center. Um, I wanna showcase some of the excellent programs that have come out from our Media Center because of our media specialists and our teachers working together. We have Artists in the Schools grants. We've had a couple of those that have combined our media specialists with our art teacher, and they've worked together and produced some excellent products. French Theater comes down and they present some Shakespeare productions that our students go to the Media Center to see. We also have things called the Pop-Up Museums. Uh, Mel Fisher has one that we get each year. And then they also have a Pop-Up Museum on slavery. So it's teaching and learning going on in the Media Center, not just reading. Our culinary programs um, are really awesome. We have a fantastic chef, Chef Carl. He works with students from grades 6, 7 through 12, and he has really taken our culinary program to an award-winning position. Um, he was recently named to the Pro Star Chef of Florida, and that is an awesome honor to have. We're outside of our PAC, which is our Performing Arts Center. Um, it's community-based and school-based, so you see both sides of it. Right now, our Thespian Troupe and our Drama Club are bringing our next production to you. It's the play that goes wrong. It's really cute. Uh, because of COVID-19, we're looking at possible venues. We may be inside our pack or we may actually be out on the football field. We'll just have to see how it is and how our numbers are in the district. But we're going on and we're going to have a production because that's what the kids wanted and that's what the kids can bring to us. COVID-19 has changed the way that we do things. Um, we've even got some new signs and some new rules um, that we have to make sure that we follow. But they're all to keep each other safe, and that's what we want. As long as you're staying safe, then we can have kids play sports, and we can have teams go out into districts and state and do their best. Um, we have honors and we have service clubs. Both of those are important to our community and our campus. So students have the opportunity to volunteer into both types of clubs and we just went through one of our inductions today. It was a National Honor Society induction for the high school side. We have yet to have our induction for the Junior Honor Society, so, but that's coming up. So along with our clubs, we also offer a lot of sports for our students. Um, we're very competitive even though we're a small school. We offer as much as our larger sister schools in our district offer too. Um, we're wrapping up our fall season right now, so that means that football and cross country and golf and volleyball are coming to a close. Um, I have to do a shout out for our cross country team. They just went to uh, districts yesterday and they placed very well and we expect them to go all the way up to state. So here's, here's having our fingers crossed on that. This banner reminds me that we have three booster programs that work with our school. We have the Mid Keys Boosters who comes out and does our concessions for us and that helps pay for a lot of our travel and our officials. Um, we also have the Marathon Alumni Booster Club and then we also have the Band Boosters. So a big shout out to them because we would not survive as well as we have without our booster programs. I want to thank you for going on a quick tour with us today and I want to give a shout out to TV88 for coming over and making this possible.